Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. My name is Carla, and I'm going to be your Thomas Cook representative just for this small journey going into your hotels. And well, of course, in the meantime, because it's going to be very short time to get into your hotels, I would like to give you just a quick information. First of all, the envelope that I just gave you is the invite to see your rep to the welcome briefing, and you have the time, the place, and the name of the person that you're going to meet. Why is so important to go to this welcome briefing, even if you've been here before? Because most of you, I know that you've been here before in Mexico. Remember that the idea is that they're going to let you know about the resort, but also the places that you can visit. There's new places now, so it's been changing since last year, and they will let you know what is new now. And of course, the most important thing, remember, about the welcome briefing is to meet the person who's going to be your friend here in Mexico, and in case that you need any assistance, you know the person, the face, and you will have the contact number in case that you need to reach them for any reason. And also, he will let you know about the pickup times for the day that you're leaving. So it's a small information, but very, very important information that in between 20, 30 minutes they're gonna give you, and it's really good worth it, even if you've been here before. That's the advice that I can give you, and of course, uh, you know, much much better the area probably than me i've been here uh, for the last 22 years so i could say that i'm from this area but uh, i have people that have been here be in this uh, resort and in this country two three four times also i have some people that are coming for the first time so believe me for one reason people comes back for one reason people decide to come to Mexico so I can guarantee you that you're gonna have the best holiday ever I'm really sorry about the crazy time that you have to spend in the passport area but unfortunately I don't know what has been happening for the last week it's been crazy or I don't know if it's too many flights arriving on the same time but the good thing is that you are finally here and you're gonna start to enjoy your holidays and well uh, very soon we're gonna get close into the area so I'm gonna give you just a quick information about it the hotel zone area it looks very similar as this road with the difference that in one of the sizes you're gonna have the ocean in the other side you're gonna have the lagoon we still have the local buses that you can be moved in all around this hotel zone area the cost now of the buses is 10 pesos 50 cents remember if you're gonna go into the buses please have a small notes because sometimes if you are two people and you pay with a hundred pesos if the driver he doesn't have the change he's gonna keep it as a tip or you're not gonna be able to go inside so if you need to change your money in a small notes maybe 20s which is the our smallest note or then 50s you can do it in reception I have sometimes people that they only have a pound unfortunately the uh, stores or uh, in any of supermarkets any places they don't accept the pounds directly so you will have to exchange them in the reception or you can look in the exchange houses all around the area of the hotel zone and you can see which is the best rate and change your money there another advice that I can give you is if you need to take money from a card please do not use the ones that it's US dollars why all these machines they are foreign so believe me they're gonna charge you a lot in commissions so if you use them peso atms you're gonna pay one pound which is 20 pesos just to get the money out and that will be all so you will save a lot a lot of money and of course you can use dollars or pesos everywhere because we receive a lot of americans too so these two currencies they accept them any stores any malls in any places you can pay with dollars and pesos and well another important thing is remember in mexico we cannot drink the water from the taps so you will have bottles of water in your room and all the water that they use in the restaurants or the ice that they use in the restaurants in all hotel area is purified water so it's completely safe you can still use the water to brush your teeth 
and of course uh, if you swallow a little bit it's not a problem because the reason that we don't drink the water from the taps is because they have lots of minerals so of course when you're living here is when you can have healthy problems but believe me in seven days 10 nights 11 nights 14 nights that you're coming is not gonna happen anything also our national drink is tequila and also Woo! is the best medicine at least if you don't feel better you're gonna be so drunk that you're gonna forget everything okay <laughs> so please make sure that you try the tequila different ways straight as a mexican with lemon and salt or margaritas it's really nice with this hot weather so just make sure that you try the tequila and if you would like to buy a bottle to bring it home remember that the allowance per person is one bottle so you can have a bottle of tequila going back home uh, also what is really important is to talk about the weather as you can see we have beautiful blue skies sunny but it's also pretty normal to have showers during the day or at night time in this time of the year so do not be surprised if suddenly you're in the pool area and for 10 minutes you have a small rain sometimes you can have still the sun and the rain on the same time sometimes it gets a little bit cloudy but then it clears again so do not worry about the weather because it's been fantastic the only thing that I give you an advice is to make sure that you have some protection all the time. My advice with everyone is to use at least factor 30 to 50 because the sun is extremely strong and if you don't want to look like a shrimp, it's basically very, very important that you use them all the time. And of course, after shower, hydrate your skin with cream or with aloe vera, that is the two best things. In that way, you're not gonna peel and you're gonna have a beautiful tan. Also, another important thing, and because we are surrounded by jungle, is mosquitoes. We always uh, said, okay, remember mosquito time will be when the sunset starts. But to be quite fair with you, it's been almost six months now that the mosquitoes, they've been every time in during the day or night time. We don't have a time anymore for mosquitoes. It could be six o'clock in the morning, noon, three, five p.m., eight p.m. So please make sure that you have protection against the mosquito it could be cream spray the only important thing is because the teeth that you have in the different sprays or creams not all the products they work in in cancun in the mosquito of the caribbean because it's more aggressive so if you see that your spray or your cream is not working we have this amazing mosquito bands that we've been selling and the people they love it because it's really easy first of all what people like is that they're made it with citronella so it's no chemicals at all i use it with my little boy with five years old and also my little girl with one year old and it's the best thing because what i really hate is that when you are putting the spray of the cream and then you have the flavor in your mouth because it's too strong so it's basically the best thing all right in a minute in Happy boys! <laughs> <laughs> Look at her reflection. 